Hello, I'm Rebecca from Mediation Now. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about child maintenance. If you and a former partner have children together and the children live with you, you might be entitled to financial help for them. In an ideal world, you are encouraged to try and agree how much this would be by yourselves with the help of mediation or with your solicitors. This is called a family-based arrangement. You can also use the guide online which is set out by the government at the Child Maintenance Service, which has an online calculator which can help you work out how much you should receive and how much the other person should pay. Payments for mediation usually end when a child is 16 unless they carry on their full-time education or an approved training course, such as an NVQ A-levels, in which case it can be 20. With a family-based arrangement, you can carry on maintenance for as long as you both agree. If you can't work this out together, you have the option of asking the Child Maintenance Service for an assessment. The downside of this is that you have to make a payment to apply for it. They also deduct a percentage from the person who is receiving the maintenance and they add a fee on to the person who's paying the maintenance, so there are lots of fees to pay. The Child Maintenance Service can help you work out what maintenance should be paid. They can arrange for the other parent to pay child maintenance and act and enforce things if payments are not made. They can set up arrangements where payments are deducted from salaries. They can also help you find parents if you're not sure where, the, where your ex is living. They can also sort out disagreements about parentage and sort out help with DNA testing. And the CMS can look at reviewing um, maintenance payments if, you, if your circumstances change or the other person's circumstances change. There's nothing to force you to use the child maintenance service or to carry on using it and, and at any stage you can withdraw a claim and you can enter into a family-based arrangements between yourselves. The basic formula for calculating child maintenance is that if you earn a gross, that is before tax national insurance are deducted, weekly income of between 100 and 200 pounds, then maintenance is calculated at a flat rate of 10 pounds per week for the first 100 pounds of income plus a variable percentage of the balance between 100 and 200 pounds. If you're the parent who doesn't live with the children and you receive benefits such as universal credit, income support or ESA, you will normally pay a flat rate of 10 pounds per week. As long as your gross weekly income does not exceed 800 pounds, you will pay 12% if you have one child, 16% if you have two children, and 19% if you have three or more children. If your income is between 800 and 3,000 pounds per week, then you will pay 9% if you have one child, 12% if you have two children, and 15% if you have three or more children. 3,000 pounds per week is the highest income that the Child Maintenance Service will consider. That's the cap. That's just a rough guide. The basic calculation assumes that a child stays regularly with the other parent. And if your children stay overnight with your ex, then the total they pay might be reduced. If they stay one night per week, then it's reduced by one seventh and so on. When children spend an equal amount of time with each parent, it, it, it's possible that it could result in no maintenance being paid at all. The important thing is to carry on talking to each other, try and use mediation, and try and come to a flexible family-based arrangement.